Hello, it's Matt from LeanStacks back with another unscripted LeanStacks technology instruction episode. Today I'm going to teach you how to transfer files to your EC2 instance using the SCP or secure copy command. As you can see, I've logged into my AWS account and I've navigated to the EC2 service and I'm viewing the instances page. I've gone ahead and started our demo EC2 instance which runs the Amazon Linux operating system. If you haven't already seen it, I encourage you to watch our episode on how to SSH to an EC2 instance. In that episode, I discuss the different EC2 usernames which are automatically provisioned uh, or created on your EC2 instance depending upon the type of operating system that you use. As I mentioned, this demonstration instance uses the Amazon Linux operating system. And what you'll see in just a few minutes is the default user account provisioned onto an Amazon Linux operating system based EC2 instance is named EC2 user. However, if your EC2 instance is running Ubuntu server, for example, your default user account may be different. So I covered all that in the previous episode regarding how to SSH to an EC2 instance. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. I'll put the link in the issue or in the description of this episode below. All right, let's get started. So today we are going to copy a file to an EC2 instance. Now there's a couple of things you need to know. It's very similar uh, to how you need to prepare to SSH to an instance. In fact, the secure copy uh, command under the covers is transferring that file um, from your machine um, to the EC2 instance over the same SSH protocol using the same port, which is port 22. Um, so the command, again, if, you've, if you know how to SSH to an EC2 instance or you watched the LeanStacks episode on how to SSH to an EC2 instance, the command is going to be very similar. We require uh, two pieces of information. Um, first is the um, key pair name which is a SSH identity file. It is the private portion of a public-private key pair. The public portion is on the EC2 instance. The private portion is located in a key pair file, which you download when the EC2 instance is created. So if you didn't create this EC2 instance, maybe another person at your company created it, you'll need to ask around and, and get this file. In our case, the key pair name is LeanStacks Demo. So in a moment, you'll see the name of the key pair file is LeanStacksDemo.pem. The second piece of information we need to get from our uh, AWS uh, console is the public DNS name of the EC2 instance to which uh, we're either going to copy a file from that instance or we're going to send a file, transfer a file to that instance. So you can also use the public IP address. Amazon documentation uh, indicates that it's, it's very preferable to use the public DNS name. So that's what we're going to use in this episode. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the public DNS name and copy that value. So I've already started uh, this demonstration EC2 instance. As you can see, it's in the running state and all of my status checks are uh, passing. So I'll go ahead and open my terminal window and minimize this browser so that the terminal's uh, a bit easier to see and I will list the contents of the current directory. There are two files in here uh, which are important today. One is the key pair file, leanstacksdemo.pem. Um, it's very important that the permissions on this file are set to the numeric equivalent of 400 or 400. Um, they must be read only um, for, the, for the owner of the file. 
Uh, I covered all this in the SSH, how to SSH to an EC2 instance episode. So again, if you need more information about that, I encourage you to check out that episode. The second file uh, is just a, a little simple file I've created called samplefile.txt. Um, that's the file that we are going to transfer uh, to our EC2 instance. Um, as you can see, I've put a little hello world message within the text file, so we'll see that the exact contents of that file are transferred up to our server. I'll clear my console. And let me show you the SCP or secure copy command. So if you type SCP and press enter with no other arguments, uh, you get the brief uh, help message for the SCP command. So we are going to use just like the SSH command, the dash I option where we will provide our key pair file or our identity file. And then as you can see, these final two arguments represent uh, the source file for the copy operation and the target file for the copy operation. Um, if the uh, source file is on the remote host, then you will specify uh, the username followed by the at symbol, the host name followed by the colon, and then a uh, path to the source file name. Likewise, for the target name, it takes the same form. So let's issue our copy command to copy the sample file, the sample text file, from our local machine up to our EC2 instance. And I think you'll better see the format of this command. So the command is SCP followed by the dash I argument where we will specify our identity file. The next argument in our command is the source file. Now the source file in this operation we're copying from our local machine to the remote EC2 instance. So there's, there's no need to specify the username or the remote host name. We simply specify um, the relative or absolute path to the source file. In this case, because it's in the same directory uh, where my terminal prompt is located, it's simply the name of the file itself. Now the target file is uh, the remote destination, our EC2 instance. So it will take the form of the remote server username, which is EC2 user. Again, that is the default username for Am the Amazon Linux operating system on EC2 instances. Now here we're going to, I'm going to paste in that public DNS name. That is a, a equivalent to the uh, the public IP address and it represents the host name. If you recall from the uh, help text that is followed by the colon. After the colon we specify a relative path uh, to the target for uh, this copy operation, this transfer operation. I'm going to use the tilde or some people call it the squiggly line. Um, it is the key above the left hand tab key on your keyboard um, and this is the a shortcut character in on the Linux uh, system which means uh, the current users home directory in this case it's the EC2 users home directory on that remote host so what this command is saying is I want to copy the sample file.txt source file to the remote host identified by the public DNS name uh, that we placed on the command line. Um, I will do that using the EC2 user uh, on that remote host and I want to place that target file in the EC2 users home directory on that remote host. I will press enter now, since this is the first time I have issued any SSH-based uh, command against this remote host, my local SSH is wanting me to confirm that I trust that remote host. So I will type yes to say that I trust it. And as you can see, the sample file.txt file was copied rather quickly 
uh, up to the host server. Let's SSH to the remote server and view the contents of the file there to prove to ourselves that the file was successfully transferred to our remote host. So as you can see, my prompt has changed. I am now successfully connected uh, to the remote host. I'll clear my console and list the contents of my home directory. Um, there are two files located here. One of them is the sample txt file. And if I issue the date command, you'll see that the current uh, date on this EC2 instance is uh, July 26th at 1122-ish uh, UTC. And as you can see on our sample text file, um, that closely matches uh, within a minute of the time that this file was created. So I will uh, display the contents of that file and we see our hello world message. I'm going to exit the SSH uh, session and return back to my local machine. So that was how to copy a file from our local machine to a remote host. But what if we need to get a file from the remote host and bring it back to our local machine? That command is very similar. It's just that the source and target uh, arguments for our SCP command are somewhat reversed. The source is going to take the format of, of the remote uh, destination and the target will take the form of a, of a local destination. So let's see what that command will look like. I'm going to copy the same sample file, sample text file, but I'm going to take it from the remote EC2 instance and copy it back down to my local instance, renaming it to samplefile2.txt. As you can see from my directory listing, there is no file named samplefile2.txt currently in this directory. So that command takes this form, scp-i followed by our key pair file. The next argument is the source. So this is going to take the remote form. So as you can see, we used the remote username, EC2 user, followed by the at symbol, followed by the public DNS name of our EC2 instance, followed by the colon symbol, again with the tilde, meaning the EC2 user's home directory, and then we specified the file name itself, samplefile.txt, which we know we just saw was located in the EC2 user's home directory. Now the final argument to our SCP command is the local file name. So we are going to use the dot slash, meaning the dot, meaning current directory, and we will call the file samplefile2.txt. So we are going to copy the contents of the remote sample file.txt into a file located in the current directory named samplefile2.txt. Note this time we were not prompted to, uh, to accept uh, that we trust the remote host since we've already done that once before. We can see samplefile.txt was transferred to our local machine and if I list the contents of my directory, I now have samplefile2.txt in addition to samplefile. If I display the contents of samplefile2.txt, our hello world message is once again shown. That's all for today. If you've enjoyed today's unscripted LeanStacks technology instruction video, click, click the thumbs up button below. Have you subscribed to the LeanStacks YouTube channel? If not, click the subscribe button below. To find more information about LeanStacks, go to LeanStacks.com. See you next time.